Hey everyone, it's Thea here. I am a Canva expert and trainer training worldwide. And today in my Canva group, Tanya messaged and saying, I'm playing around with the tartan and letters. Can I add the tartan to the letters as you did with the Sherlock? So a few weeks ago, she contacted me. She had a silhouette of Sherlock and wanted to put her own Sherlock Holmes tartan in that silhouette, which I used a tool called Merch Informer to do that for her, but now she wants to do it in letters. So I have just spelled out tartan. Now to find the letters, you just go to elements and you can either type in frames or you can scroll down to the frames and they're at the bottom under elements, second up from the bottom actually, just above the grids. And then you can type in letters, right? And then you get all your letters here. So I've already spelled out tartan for you. If we go back to elements and we search for tartan, I'm going to just search for a random tartan today. We'll find, uh, let's see, how about this nice bright red one? And we drag the letters, uh, the, the picture into the letters rather. So we could do it this way, right? If we can just spell out tartan and we're good to go. Or if you wanted it to kind of spread across maybe a little bit more evenly, you could double click drag it across and then maybe you want to, I don't know, maybe do something like this so that it's roughly going across all, double click, stretch, a bit more and so forth. Okay, so that's really all you would need to do. Just keep doing it across all the letters, right? It's a little bit too big now, Thea, good one. And there you go, that's about right, roughly and straight across. Okay, so that's all you have to do to add your pictures to the letter. Now with hers, um, I I'd suggested she gets a nice good image like one of these that she can then put in because because to for her Sherlock, I just used a picture of one of her cushions. I show you that um, what I did if I add a page, I actually stretched this and put put the put put that into the the frames. Okay, so that's all that I have time for today, but I hope you found that useful, Tanya, and anyone else who's wondering about putting photos in letter frames. Well, that wraps up another Canva tutorial. If there's anything I can help you with in Canva, please just shoot me a message and I'll make a tutorial just for you. And as ever, if you would like to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days, just hit the link in my bio. Until next time, I'm Thea, saying see ya.